Hey guys, it's Alex. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you a 30-day TikTok dropshipping guide that will take you from zero to $100,000 in sales. This guide is perfect for anyone who is interested in starting their own dropshipping business on TikTok but doesn't know where to start. We'll be breaking down the tasks each day so you can follow along and implement these strategies yourself. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap for launching and scaling your own profitable TikTok dropshipping business. So let's dive in. Now before we get started going over this guide, I just wanna let you guys know that you can actually go ahead and download this strategy yourselves, where I break it down for you day by day so you guys can go ahead and implement this on your own stores and scale from zero to that $100,000 a month mark. So go ahead and click on the link in the description down below, ecomadvantage.com slash 30 day guide, you'll find that link down below. And enter your email address right here and I will go ahead and send that guide over to you guys so that you guys can start studying this and breaking it down yourselves. It's a little more advanced than the one that we're actually about to go over. So make sure you download this free resource today. All right, here it is, my zero to 100K dropshipping guide in 30 days using TikTok. We're gonna break down the exact strategy you can use in 2023 to go from zero to $100,000 in revenue in just 30 days using dropshipping and TikTok organic content. Content. So let's go ahead and get started. Days one through three, for day one we have research and product selection. Day two you have setting up your online store. Day three is setting up all of your social media accounts. So let's go into a little more depth on those. For product research, you guys wanna research popular niches and trending products on TikTok. You can use tools like AliExpress, DSers, or Spocket to find winning products to sell. You guys can select a product with a profit margin of at least 30% and you guys are good to go from there. With your store setup, you wanna sign up for an e-commerce platform like Shopify or WooCommerce or anything similar. Then you guys wanna choose your domain name and a custom website design that fits your niche. You add your selected product to your store and you start setting up your payment and your shipping options on the back end from there. And for your social media setup, you obviously wanna create your TikTok account for your store. You wanna link your TikTok account to your online store's homepage on your website. And you wanna create your other social media accounts to promote your store, such as your Instagram and your Facebook pages. Moving over to days four through six. For day four, we're going to research TikTok trends and popular hashtags. For day five, we're going to develop our own content strategy. And for day six, we're going to create our first TikTok video. So let's break these down. For our trends and our hashtag research, we're gonna identify the popular hashtags and trends within our niche. We're gonna research similar accounts and analyze their content. And then we're gonna create a list of hashtags and trends to use in our own TikTok videos. For our content strategy, we're gonna first decide on the type of content we wanna create, whether it's product demos, tutorials, reviews, or anything similar. Then we're gonna plan out a content schedule for the next week and write all of our scripts and outlines for our upcoming videos. For our first TikTok video, we wanna use the script and the outline that we created for the first video. We're going to film that video and edit it using TikTok's built-in editing tools like TikTok and CapCut. And then we're gonna post our video with the relevant hashtags that we found before. All right, moving on to day seven through nine. For day seven, we're going to engage with other TikTok users to promote the algorithm and our own account. For day eight, we're gonna test and optimize our ads. And for day nine, we're going to research influencer marketing options for our upcoming promotions. So let's break down each one of these days. For engagement, we wanna like and comment on other users' videos within our own niche. You're gonna follow other users who might be interested in your own products, and then you're gonna to respond to the comments on all of your own videos. For optimization, you wanna set up an ad campaign on TikTok using your selected product. You wanna test different ad formats and targeting options and analyze your ad performance to make adjustments and improve your results over time. For influencer marketing, you wanna identify popular TikTok influencers within your niche. You wanna research their engagement rates and their follower demographics to make sure it aligns with your own brand. And then you wanna create a list of potential influencers that you're going to reach out to. Moving over to days 10 through 12, for day 10, we're going to reach out to the influencers. For day 11, we're going to prepare for influencer partnerships. In day 12, we're going to actually launch our influencer campaigns. So let's break down each one of these days. For reaching out, you guys wanna send personalized messages to the influencers on your list. You wanna offer them a commission or a free product in exchange for promoting your products. And you wanna negotiate your terms and finalize agreements with any interested influencers. 
for, pre for preparing for your promotions, you guys wanna ensure that your product inventory is stocked and ready for increased demand. You wanna create any necessary tracking links or promo codes for the influencer campaigns. And you guys wanna reach out, or you guys wanna plan out the content that you want the influencers to create for your brand. And then when you guys actually go to launch your campaign, you wanna send the product samples to the influencers that you've already partnered with. You give them the instructions on the type of content you want them to create for your brand. And then you're gonna monitor the performance of each influencer campaign as you go through and set them all up. All right, on day 13, you're gonna continue creating content for your brand. On day 14, you're going to optimize your website for conversions. And on day 15, you're gonna analyze your ad performance for your current promotions. So let's break down each one of these days. For continue creating your content, you wanna use the feedback from your first couple of TikTok videos to create more engaging content. Then you wanna experiment with different formats and styles to see what works best for your audience. You guys wanna keep an eye on your TikTok trends and adjust your content strategy accordingly because it can change just like that. For optimizing your website, you guys wanna analyze your website traffic and user behavior using Google Analytics. Make changes to your website design or layout to improve your conversion rates and experiment with different call to action buttons and messaging throughout your overall branding and website. For analyzing your ads, you guys wanna use your ad platform's analytic tools to analyze your campaign performance. You guys wanna identify areas where you can improve your ad targeting or messaging and adjust your campaigns accordingly. Day 16 through 18, we are refining our product selection, optimizing our product pages, and researching and testing new ad platforms to work with. So let's break down each one of these days. For refining our products, we're gonna analyze our sales data and our customer feedback to identify which products are performing best so that we can get ideas for similar products to add to our store. We're gonna update our selection with similar upsells and cross-sells. And for optimizing our product pages, we wanna analyze our product pages to see if they can be improved. We're going to experiment with different product descriptions, images, and the overall pricing. And we're gonna make changes to our product pages to improve our overall conversion rates. For testing new platforms, we wanna research other ad platforms that might be relevant to our niche. We're gonna test new ad platforms and see if they can drive sales to our stores. And we're gonna analyze the performance of your campaigns and adjust accordingly because our customer demographics may be on multiple platforms and we wanna make sure we reach them on each and every platform that they're on. Day 19, we are experimenting with retargeting ads. Day 20, we're creating user-generated content or UGC. Day 21, we're experimenting with email marketing. Let's break down each one of these days. For our retargeting ads, we're gonna set up retargeting ads on TikTok and other ad platforms. We're gonna experiment with different messaging and offers to see what works best with our audience. We're gonna analyze the performance of our retargeting campaigns and make any adjustments that are needed. For creating UGC, we're gonna encourage our customers to create content featuring our products. We're gonna repost any user-generated content on our TikTok and our other social media platforms such as Instagram Reels. And we're gonna use UGC in all of our ads to build our social proof with our future customers. And for email marketing, we're gonna set up our email marketing campaigns for our store. We're gonna experiment with different email templates and messaging with our overall branding. And we're gonna analyze the uh, performance of our email campaigns and make any adjustments that we need to as we move forward based on the current data that we have. Day 22, we're going to analyze our competition. Day 23, we're gonna collaborate with other TikTok creators. And day 24, we're gonna plan a giveaway or some sort of a fun contest for our customers. So on day 22, researching our competition, we're going to analyze our competitors' social media accounts and their websites. We're gonna identify areas where you can differentiate your brand from your competitors. And we're gonna experiment with new messaging or offers based on what we learn from this product research or this competition research. For TikTok Labs, we wanna reach out to other TikTok creators within our niche. We're gonna collaborate on a video or cross-promote each other's accounts. And we're gonna analyze the performance of our co co collaborations and we're going to make any adjustments that we need to moving forward based on the data that we get. Uh, we're gonna plan a giveaway or a contest to generate buzz around our store. We're gonna promote the giveaway or contest on TikTok and all of our other social media platforms. And then we're gonna analyze the performance of the giveaway or contest and adjust accordingly to any future promotions that we are running. Days 25 through 27, we're experimenting with TikTok ads 
creating a referral program and collaborating with micro influencers. So we're gonna set up a new TikTok ad campaign and experiment with different ad formats and targeting options. We're gonna analyze the performance of your TikTok ads and adjust accordingly, just like everything else. Then we're gonna consider investing more in TikTok ads if they're driving significant sales for your store. For our referral program, we're gonna set up a referral program to incentivize your customers to refer their friends. You're gonna promote your referral program on TikTok and all of your other social media accounts. And then you're gonna analyze the performance of that and make any adjustments that you need to with your referral program. Then we're gonna reach out to micro influencers within our niche, collaborate on videos and cross promote each other's products and accounts. And then we're gonna analyze the performance of those promotions with the micro influencers and see if we wanna keep reaching out and working with them. The last few days, 28 through 30, day 28, we're going to launch a flash sale. Day 29, we're going to experiment with user-generated ads. In day 30, we're going to evaluate our results and plan for the future. So our flash sale, we wanna plan a flash sale to promote or to generate urgency and promote our sales. We're gonna promote the flash sale on TikTok and other social media accounts. We're gonna analyze the performance of the flash sale and see if we wanna do any future flash sales or change up the actual offer and promotion. User generated ads, we want to use our UGC and our TikTok and other ad campaigns. We're gonna experiment with different user generated ads to see what drives the most sales and has the better overall performance. And then we're gonna actually analyze the performance of our user generated ads and see if we wanna keep using them for the future. And all of this ties into the last and final day, day 30, our results analysis. We wanna analyze our store's performance over the previous 30 days. We're gonna identify what worked and what didn't work in our overall marketing strategy. And then we're gonna plan for the future and set new goals for our store's overall growth. All right, now let's talk about actually implementing this strategy to $100,000 of sales per month. Within the first seven days, we should have our first sale from TikTok Organic. The following day should allow you to understand and start to scale what's working with multiple traffic sources, both organic and influencer campaigns. Days 12 through eight, you're starting to experiment with multiple platforms and getting more results. Days 18 through 22, you're starting to branch out, increasing your revenue with email marketing and retargeting ads. And then the final days, 28, 22 through 30, you're putting together the final pieces and scaling your product and brand to the six figure a month mark. I hope you found this 30 day TikTok dropshipping guide helpful. Remember, building a successful dropshipping business takes time and effort, but with the right strategies in place, you can achieve great results. If you have any questions or comments about this guide, feel free to leave them down below. I also have quite a few resources for you guys to check out in the description. And if you wanna see more content just like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and share it with others. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.